should have been wearing glasses when I played because I really couldn't see that great. You know, I could do enough, but you know, you always kind of wonder now with the way you could see if you'd done this while you were playing, would it have been a little bit easier and you'd had a better experience? Because you know, when you're playing, you obviously can't wear glasses, but then as well as contacts has issues because they get dirt in them, you get it knocked out, and then you've got to go off to the sideline and get one changed out. And you know, usually players have gloves on their hands, so they can't do it. So somebody else has got to come help you actually do it. So it's a really big pain. So at all possible times, you try not to have to do any of that. It would continue to decline because you know I'd have a pair of glasses. All of a sudden, I'd be seeing kind of the same kind of vision level that I had before I had glasses and so you'd have to go to the eye doctor and get another prescription a little bit stronger and a little bit stronger and it seemed like that was happening more often and you know it, my vision was getting worse quicker um, and so that was always the annoying part too because then you know it's kind of it's a gradual thing so at some point you don't realize it's getting worse until one day you go I can't see that anymore and then you've got to know you're going to have to you know, go to the eye doctor and you're going to have to buy you know, new glasses or whatever it might be. Um, and you realize after you do that a couple of times, how long is this set of pair of glasses going to last me? They saw me on the TV show that I do on Sundays and came to me because I would wear glasses on that show occasionally. Sometimes I took them off, most times I didn't want to wear them. And so they kind of approached me to see, you know, would it be something I'd be interested in and, and taking a look and thinking about doing LASIK? I think the best thing about the people here um, is that when you come in for that first time to just more than anything find out if you're a candidate and learn about it, the process, and be able to ask your questions, it's not something where you feel like they're trying to force you into a procedure that you don't need. You know, they're helping you identify that, listen, these are all the, these are all the things that are gonna happen. You've gotta be comfortable with this and make this decision. And, you know, telling you you're a good candidate or not, they're not trying to force something on you. It's simply informational, something you can find out, and you're gonna be able to make the decision at your pace. And, you know, and once you do, and once you come in, like I said, the whole experience is, much less than even what you're imagining. I mean, the worst thing about the experience is just letting your imagination think what it's gonna be like. Because once you actually go through it, you've figured out, well, that was easy. That wasn't anything to that. Um, and so, you know, I think that's the most thing that people just have to get over is just the, the nervousness they might have. But in the end, after you go through the experience, you're sitting back going, what in the heck was I delaying this for? You know, why was I not making this decision a long time ago? I mean, I remember saying after, uh, you know, how much better I could see, I was like, I wish I'd done this when I was in college and playing football in the pros and in college. What would it have done? You know, and that's the only thing you're really left with is when you're sitting there and you, you think about how much longer you could have been living your life without glasses and seeing so much better. First visit when you come in, more it's about the learning, you know, of, of what this is going to entail, you know, obviously identifying if you're actually a candidate or not for the procedure. And really it's all about being comfortable with, you know, getting your questions answered, you know, what is going to go happen when you come in the day you have your procedure done. Uh, and so it's just a more about learning and getting comfortable with the procedure before you really decide is this going to be something I'm actually going to do? And it, you know, I did that as well. You know, my talked to my wife, and she's like, "Oh, well, make sure you're covered and know everything you need to know uh, before you go do this, because it is your eyesight." But you know, after doing that, I was very comfortable with the, being able to do this procedure. And then, you know, when you came in, it, you you're nervous a little bit just because it's you know, it's your eyes and you're having something done to them. But man, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, they talk you through every part of it, you know, so as it, it's happening and it's occurring, uh, they're not just sitting there doing a procedure and nobody's talking to you, they're communicating the whole time with you. And exactly what they said would happen, you know, after the procedure, this is what's going to happen and take place. And then the next morning you're going to wake up and 
feel like a new person. And it was great. Being with Dr. Stewart, he's a, he's a funny guy, very, you know, outgoing person. And so, like I said, they were telling jokes and, you know, communicating with you when you went under. And so when you went under and you see that bright light and you're kind of going there and getting a little more nervous, um, you know, they're talking you through that whole part of it. And, you know, there's, a, there's a, some moments in there you, you're still kind of, your heartbeat races a little bit. But overall, I mean, it was, it was very simple, painless, and you just come out of there and, you know, by the time you think, you know, how long, uh, you know, this thing is going to take a long time, it was done. I mean, it was a very short procedure. You know, my wife, even when I came out, she goes, like, you're already done? I go, yeah, it's, we're ready to go. The difference in quality of vision is, you know, I actually have better eyesight than I ever did with glasses. But not only that, the quality of vision is that, you know, my, I was terrible about cleaning my glasses. So my wife would always have to look at me and go, clean your glasses. It looks like you're looking through an inch of film, you know, between you and what you're actually seeing. And that was one of the most annoying parts for me to carry around the little glass cleaner stuff and try to clean the glasses. And then, you know, it's just, you know, off to the sides, you know, changing your head, your glasses fall down a little bit. Now you can't see what you're trying to look at. So it just, it became a, a huge issue and just process of having to deal with that. And I just, you know, I never liked glasses. I never thought they were comfortable. You know, the only reason I was wearing them was because I had to, to be able to drive. When you're driving and being able to look at the roads and actually see, you know, it's not just one straight color of a thing. It's got little pieces of gravel in it. And being able to pick out things like that. And then the next best thing you're going to look at is when you turn to a tree and actually can identify the individual leaves and see them. Uh, and you realize for the first time how much you were not seeing. I think that's the biggest surprise is, you know, you go, go along in life and you, you've got glasses and even with the glasses, I couldn't see these kinds of details. And so it's more changing after the fact. It's hard to tell somebody, you know, it's going to be like this until they actually wake up that next morning and go, wow, it, it is a huge difference. And, it, you know, just the other inconveniences of life, you know, if you want to have sunglasses and you have a prescription, there's basically like two kinds and they're the ugliest and worst kinds to ever wear in your entire life and nobody wants to buy them. So now you get to actually buy sunglasses that actually may look good uh, to wear them. And then, you know, my, I don't have to have my wife always say, take off your glasses before a picture. It's, it's something, you know, you don't have to worry about having that one extra thing. You know, you already got your phone, your wallet, your keys. You don't have to worry about your glasses as well. When you do this kind of surgery, you want to pick the best and you want to find somebody that you're comfortable with and that you feel like is the utmost professional when they're messing with your eyes. And, you know, and Dr. Kirby Stewart is just absolutely fantastic, not only from doing the procedure, but like I said, when you come in here, it's going to be fun. It's not going to be just some guy that comes in and takes care of your eyes and you'd never get a feel for their personality and how they act. They're fun here, they're, they're very open, you know, and it, like I said, it's, it's, this is the, it's not a high pressure sales or anything. This is, a, this is something they know, they have a product or they have a service that the people that have had it done, it changes their life and is worth everything you had to do to get through it. And so, uh, you know, it's a product you really shouldn't have to sell too hard because it's, you know, it, it's great and it's life changing and it lasts for years. And there's not many things you can do like that and find in this life that are going to make such a dramatic difference. You can go out and buy an HD TV, and you know we spend all of this money to find a higher quality picture of something, and and buy binoculars and all these other uh, tools and neat things that we do. But yet, you know, the real way to do that and improve your life and have that experience all year long is just by getting a LASIK procedure done and, and getting your eyes seeing the whole world in every moment of the day with that clear vision and, and really being able to, you know, realize how much you were missing uh, before, you, before you had your procedure.